Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. I'm proud to announce the launch of a new series of video lessons covering Microsoft Word. Today's topic using paragraph spacing to improve readability. As many of you have discovered, there are dramatic differences between Word 2007 and Word 2003. One area where there's a major difference is in how paragraph spacing is applied between the two versions. Let me give you an example. Over here in Word 2007, I have three paragraphs. I'm using the default settings for the paragraph. Now, let's contrast this. I'm taking the same three paragraphs and showing you how the default settings in Word 2003 are set up, which gives you more breathing room, which is easier to read. The default paragraph settings for Word 2007 or the default paragraph settings for Word 2003. Well, one of the first things that you probably noticed is that in Word 2007, you only need to hit the Enter button once at the end of a paragraph. On the other hand, in Word 2003, in order to put some space in between paragraphs, it's necessary in the default fonts, uh, paragraph settings to hit the Enter key twice. So this is an old habit to break. So some of my clients complain and they say there's so much space in between the paragraphs in Word 2007, Word 2010, and that's because they're hitting the Enter button twice after a paragraph. It's a hard habit to break. Let's take a look at another difference. Let's come over here in Word 2003 default si um, uh, font sizes. You'll see coming over here into the home tab of the ribbon that in Word 2003 the default setting is to use a 12 point font. Whereas in Word 2007 the default size for the font is 11 points. So we use a smaller font in Word 2007 than we do in Word 2003, but in addition to having more breathing room in between the paragraphs, we also have more space, more white space within the paragraph. So there is 1.15 lines in between the lines within the paragraph. There's 10 points of space built in when we hit the Enter button between paragraphs. Whereas in Word 2003, the default setting is that we have no extra space. We lack that 10 points of space, which we get by hitting Enter twice, and we use single line spacing within the paragraph, whereas in Word 2007, we use 1.15 space. Smaller font face, but more space in between. The people who study this encourage us to use white space as a competitive, competitive advantage in our marketing tools. Today, people scan before they make the decision to go back and read. So we want to make sure that we have readability built in. And if we take advantage of the default paragraph spacing within Word 2007, we'll have a competitive advantage. Now, what I like to do is I like to, oh, by the way, before I go on there, let me show you how I created these default settings in Word 2003 while I was still in Word 2007. So when I want to apply the Word 2003 defaults, Home tab of the ribbon, Styles group, and come over here, you see the Change Styles, you see there's a drop down. Come over here and we have all these different style sets. So if I want to see Word 2007 default settings, there it is. And this is how I got Word 2003. So change styles, come over here, and the Word 2003 default settings are put in place there. All right, now let me switch back here to Word 2007. There are two areas where we can explore paragraph. We have two groupings for paragraph settings on the home tab of the ribbon and also on the paragraph um, tab of the ribbon. So over here you see that when you hit enter the default setting is to apply 10 points of space when we hit enter. That's the space in between the paragraphs. Now let's open up the dialog box. Let's click the launcher over here. So 10 points of space in between paragraphs. So after we hit the enter key, 10 points, and then the spacing that's built into the paragraph, the lines within the paragraph, 1.15. 
let's come over here and take a look at what those default settings are in Word 2003. Now again, I'm using Word 2007, but I applied that Word 2003 style over here. So paragraph, or page layout tab of the ribbon, paragraph, you see that when I hit the enter key, I get no space, no points of space built into it. I have to hit enter twice. And within the paragraph, I have single line spacing in contrast to the 1.15 that I have in Word 2007. So that's a really great point to, to make. Now there's one area where this can cause problems, and I'm going to come back to that in just a second. One dialog box that I really would like you to get used to using, I'm going to come over here to the Home tab of the ribbon. Once again, in the Styles group, I'm going to click the More button down here to see more styles. And you see Apply Styles down here, and you see the keyboard shortcut Control shift s This is absolutely indispensable as far as I'm concerned. Over here, I can come in to any paragraph, and I can see the style. Also, if I need to see the default settings or make a change, it's really easy to see and make those changes right there. Now, let me show you where this is really going to come into play, and one area where if you don't understand the default settings for paragraph spacing in Word 2007, you're going to have a difficult time. So here I've started to create a mail merge for mailing labels. And remember that every time we hit the enter button and here in the address block, the difference between the first line and the second line is a new paragraph. So there's 10 points of space by default in there. Well, I can see that there's this is going to be a problem. I mean, it really it's it's not going to print correctly on a one inch height mailing label. So here's what I do. First of all, before I make a change, I want to select all the labels. One way to do that is to click this little icon up here, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control A. In either case, we select all of the labels, all of the paragraphs. And what we want to do is bring up that Apply Styles dialog box, Control Shift S. And rather than changing the font size, we're going to change the style. So there's a style in there. Rather than using normal, what we want to use is no spacing. So now with no spacing, when we apply it, then we're going to see that we're going to have, you know, that's going to be a lot easier for us to print on the page. One other improvement that we might want to make is come over here onto the Home tab of the ribbon and let's decrease the font size. Let's shrink it down. So now we have plenty of space on our mailing labels. And also pay attention, here's a, a template over here, that we want to make sure that if this is a template, you see the sender address up here, and I'll again use Control-Shift-S. The sender address, when I look at the settings there, it does not, it's based on the no spacing style. So I don't have that 10 point of space in between when I'm addressing. On the other hand, when I'm down here in the body of the letter, I have the one and a half lines by default within the paragraph and the 10 points of spacing in between paragraphs. Now, I've just been creating some new landing pages on my website, and I really like the way this template is set up. You see how it adds that extra space within the lines. It adds more space in between the paragraphs. So we want to have a nice, clean, welcoming look we really don't want to scare our readers away. So don't have it all crunched in between. Allow some breathing room. Now, I also want to bring to your attention that I've also just started a new series of extended length uh, video tutorials. And I have the first four of them up on my uh, WebEx website. And the first four are offered for free. It gives me a chance to go you know, into a longer presentation, 28 minutes, 36 minutes. And also, it allows me to do, for example, mail merge in Office 2003, pivot tables in 2003. You can view these online. You can download them. And it requires just the simple registration. All that's required is first name, last name, and an email address. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.